Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on Rise of Civilizations. This is Dragothian here, and uh, before I get started, I wanted to just take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting the channel so far. We've we've come a long way in the past couple weeks as far as subscriber count and views, and certainly videos that I'm putting out have uh, escalated a lot. So I wanted to just take a moment and say thank you and uh, let you know that I really appreciate your support. And uh, you know, look forward to bringing you more and more stuff as uh, time goes on, and, and looking to bring you more frequent content uh, every day, every week, every month. So, just wanted to take a brief moment just to say thank you, and uh, look forward to bringing you as much as I can, uh, as much good content as I can, and um, thank you. So, um, let's jump into it. This video is going to be a fairly brief one. But I think it's a video that's really necessary because it's a question that I constantly come across and it's even a question that I ask sometimes and I have to go look it up and I'm, I'm like, it's it's annoying. So I want to put it in one spot for everybody uh, so they can come find it and um, I put it together on a spreadsheet so that it's all in one spot and, and the video, what it is, it's going to be about how many sculptures you need uh, to level up a commander to max. It's a simple question, but it's one that's got a lot of numbers involved in it. So uh, what I did was I put together a spreadsheet, and that spreadsheet's right here. So this has all four rarities of commanders and their respective skill, uh, respective sculptures needed for their skills to be leveled up. And you have to look at it in fours because there's five skill points per skill to max it out, but either the summon being the first skill create or um, the star level being ranked up being the second, third, and fourth skill create is basically your 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 uh, your skill create star. So, uh, well, that doesn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so these go in chunks of four. So uh, when, you, when you summon a commander, whether they're legendary, epic, elite, or advanced, um, you'll need the first four rows of this spreadsheet to max out their first skill. So for legendary and epic, it's 50 sculptures to max out their first skill from one to five. Uh, and then elite and advanced, so blue and blue and green, it takes 40 to max out their first skill, which most of them you don't really need unless it's a, a gathering commander, let's be honest. Uh, really epic and legendary are where you wanna make sure you max out their first skill and especially legendary or especially nukers um, charles richard those types of commanders you do not want to do not want to uh, unlock their other skills before you max out the first one and once once i'm done going through this really quickly i'll jump to my commanders and quickly show you what i'm talking about um, so once you get to the fourth row here the first skill will be maxed then you're going to want to go to the second star and that's what's going to unlock the first point in the second skill. Um, so once you go to second star or two star commander, you'll have 30, 30, 40, and 40 to max out the second skill on a legendary and then 20, 20, 20, 30 on an epic. So to max out a second skill for a legendary, you're looking at 140. And to max out a second skill on an epic, you're looking at 90. So that's where it really starts to differentiate from how many sculptures you need to max out these commanders. So, And it starts pretty early if we're talking about the second skill. So that's why at the bottom you see where it's got the total. That's the delta. That's why it's a 250 uh, sculpture delta. And then you can, you can do the math for the elite and the advanced. I think we're all here for mostly for the epic and legendary unless you're trying to figure out how to level up Sarka or um, you know some of the, the gathering commander type commanders. So once we've got the second skill maxed out, that gets us to row eight. Then we jump to rows nine through 12. And we need to have a third star unlocked to, to use sculptures in that bracket. Um, depending on if you wanna have them as primary or secondary is whether you wanna know how to, or whether you wanna use the, uh, the trick to go from level 10 and have four stars and we can do that on a different video very helpful for if, if you're trying to skill up a commander without putting a whole lot of experience into him or her um, you can jump from level 10 
one star to level 10, four stars without using any XP sculpt or any XP tomes uh, or any other stars besides the ones that you use to get there. So um, really helpful thing. I'll bring that to another video and I'm, I'm sure it's already out there on a couple other videos as well, but very helpful. Um, to max out your third skill for a legendary commander, you're looking at 190 sculptures, so 45, 45, 50, 50. And then same thing for epic, you're looking at 130 sculptures, so 30, 30, 30, and 40. And then again, elite and advanced, you can go for that. And then after the row 12, you got to have four star. To, so to max out skills on any commander, you need to have four stars in the commander. Uh, that will unlock the 13 through 16 rows on this spreadsheet. And again, a lot, of, a lot of sculptures are going into this. So you're looking at 310 sculptures to max out the fourth skill of a legendary commander. So that's 75, 75, which is 150, and 80, 80, which is 160. So that's a lot of sculptures, especially for gold sculptures, because really hard to come by. You have to get them from events. You got to get them from Mightiest Governor. You got to get them from Wheel Event. You got to get them from More Than Gem. I mean, there's tons of ways to get them, but they're hard to come by and they're hard to win. You got to spend a lot of money, spend a lot of gems, spend a lot of time to win these sculptures. So very difficult to do. And this is why there's not many commander or governors out there with maxed out legendary commanders unless they put a lot of money into the game or a lot of time or they've been playing for five, six, seven months and have accumulated over the, the time the amount of sculptures that they're going to need. Uh, again, recommended when you're talking about legendary, uh, legendary commanders, focus on one commander because if you don't, you're going to have a bunch of legendary commanders on the field that have very subpar skills. And you might as well have a maxed out epic at that point if you're not going to really give the, the legendary commander attention in the way that you're going to be maximizing the amount of effort you're putting into one versus spreading 30 sculptures between three legendary commanders that'll get you rank two on the first skill on all three of those commanders that does nothing for you but if you used 50 sculptures on one commander um, that's a maxed first skill and if that's a richard if that's a julius if that's a um if that's a uh, frederick i mean if that's a minamoto if you bought them i mean no, that's that's a quality commander that you can bring to the battlefield. That first skill is really, really important. So uh, I, that's what I would recommend. And then same thing for Epic, um, 13 through 16, that's 170 sculptures to max out the fourth skill for a total of 690 sculptures. And this is after summoning uh, for Legendary and 440 sculptures after sum summoning for Epic. So that's how much it takes to max out any of these commanders. And when you're talking about when you're going to the VIP shop, and let's see if it makes me load, it did. Um, when you're talking about going to the VIP shop, right? And you go to the Epic Commander sculpture, um, you get 50 of these a week if you purchase them with 10,000 gems. Or when you're doing your collection, depending on where you're at on the VIP rank, you could get one sculpture for, um, for an Epic Commander. If you're a VIP, I want to say it's nine or below. And then also on your daily quest, you get uh, an epic, five epic commanders. I think this depends on how high of um, power you are or VIP. I'm not sure which one determines it, but I think it ranges from three to five epic commander sculptures. And then you get the gems, golden key and magic box too. So, you know, the, the, the amount of sculptures you need are, are pretty significant, but epic is a lot more attainable. And between the, the different events that you can do to get epic sculptures and um, obviously being able to purchase them in the shops and in the expedition shop here, you can you can purchase uh, epic sculptures there as well to, to help you level up your commanders. There's tons of ways to do it, whereas not a whole lot of ways to do it on the legendary. So that's what I would recommend, really focusing in on one legendary and then pick your epics as well. But you'll go through those a lot faster because you have more access to the sculptures. So... Um, there was going to be one more thing I was going to show you uh, when it comes to the sculptures. I don't remember what it was. Either way, um, I think that's pretty much what you guys needed. Um, I'm sure I'll remember it after I turn off the video, but let me go ahead and put this back up on the screen so y'all can have it. 
Yeah, it's really late, guys. I apologize for the, the weird lighting, but uh, it's been a busy day at work, and I just finished up maybe a couple hours ago. So I wanted to get this out there and get this in front of you. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you wanted to um, refer back to it, feel free, obviously. Um, I will ask that if somebody wants to save the point uh, in the video where this is at, I'll pin it to the top so that it's at the top for everybody to see and they can click on it and, and pause it. Or again, you can pause it and take a screenshot so that you can have this with you whenever you're leveling your commanders up. You can refer right back to it and uh, be good to go. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And again, I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Um, again, have fun conquering your world and I really enjoy doing this for you. So look forward to some more coming in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.